راغبا في كل علم نافع ينمو العلم ويتقدم بتقنياته ومجالاته ومعه نطور أدواتنا في تقديم العلم الشرعي أكاديمية زاد زاد أكاديمية ينبوعها صاف صاف ليروي غلة الظمآن هذا كتاب الله روح قلوبنا خير الدروس تعلم القرآن بشرى ننازات أكاديمية للعلم كالأزهار في البستان بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلوات الله وسلامه على سيد الأنبياء والمرسلين نبينا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين in the name of Allah, the compassion, the merciful, all praise is due to Allah, the Almighty. May the peace and blessings of Allah be upon his prophet Muhammad, his family, his companions, and all of his followers until the day of resurrection. I welcome you to this new episode of the series of Tafsir at Zad Academy. And we're continuing with the verses um, 10 to 16, and we reached the uh, ayah, uh, the loving, al-wadud. This is uh, uh, the word uh, al-wadud, where the, the word meaning the loving, and uh, wood is really the pure, pure love is called wood in Arabic, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is being loved, and he also loved subhanahu wa ta'ala. So he's being loved, and he loves also uh, the believers, and that's why subhanahu wa ta'ala has this great quality, uh, al-wadud, the Lord of the throne, dhul arsh al-majid, he is the owner of the throne over which he rose subhanahu wa ta'ala, istiwa, istawa ala al-arsh, he rose over uh, the throne subhanahu wa ta'ala in a way that befits his majesty, azza wa jal, uh, al-majid, the glorious, uh, Allah Azza wa possesses the attribute of glory, al-majd. This refers to the one who has great and majestic attributes. Uh, he does whatever he wills, fa'alun lima yurid, because he Azza wa uh, has complete power, and therefore no one can stop him or, or reverse his decision or put back his decree. لا معقب لحكمه ولا راد لقضائه عز وجل. What we can learn from these uh, ayahs is first the following: Allah subhanahu wa taala may give power to the enemies uh, over his close friends. They may torture them, they may kill them, um, but that is uh, not in vain. It is uh, there is a divine wisdom behind it that uh, uh, for the believers who are afflicted will have an immense reward on the Day of Judgment. So nothing goes um, unaccounted for by Allah Azza wa Jal because He will grant uh, respite to the uh, transgressing disbelievers and leaving them to get carried away and then seizing them. حَتَّى إِذَا أَخَذَهُمْ أَخْذَ عَزِيزٍ مُقْتَدْرِ He will take them with, with uh, seizure and, and great power. So He will... Uh, leave them for some time, but he will grab them at the end. Secondly, Allah Azza wa Jal uses the word al-hariq, the burning fire. Just although the word, the punishment of hell is, is including al-hariq, which is the, uh, the burning fire, but rather Allah Azza wa Jal is, is using the word, the same word hariq, uh, uh, as they use the same uh, word fire in the trench. So when they use the fire to burn the believers, uh, they will be uh, put into al-hariq on the day of judgment. They will put in fire which will burn their bodies. And of course, with the great difference between the two kinds of hariq or uh, uh, fire uh, in, in both worlds, this one is not even close, not even similar to the one that will be on the Day of Judgment. Thirdly, uh, the mercy of Allah Azza wa Jal is an open door. 
Look at this. Allah is so merciful. Even after what they did, what they did to the believers, and they burned them, and they watched them, and they uh, made sure that they they went through all that punishment. Allah Azza wa Jal is opening the door for them. ثُمَّ لَمْ يَتُوبُوا He said, even if they if they do not repent, and that's is is showing the great mercy, the immense mercy of Allah Azza wa Jal, Subhanahu wa Taala. Now, activities for the, these uh, ayahs and the ayahs that we mentioned in the previous episode fill in the gaps, as you know. Persisting in disbelief is worse than than uh, torturing the, the the believers or harming the disbelievers. Al Hasan al Basri, Al Imam Al Hasan al Basri said, "Look at this uh, immense generosity. They killed and." Uh, the closed uh, friends of Allah, and yet he is opening the door of repentance and uh, and uh, coming back to Allah Azza wa Jal. Compare the contrast uh, of the phrases, and they will have the punishment of the burning fire and uh, beneath which rivers flow. Subhanallah. Now, of course, in the in this uh, in in the hereafter. The disbelievers will have fire under their feet and from all sides. Um, they will be encompassed in, in fire, uh, while uh, the believers will enjoy uh, uh, an encompassing mercy and enjoyment. And under them is rivers of, of, uh, uh, of bliss, uh, of honey, wine, uh, uh, milk, and... Uh, and uh, water, uh, unlike what they what they what they had in life, where they they yes they may have suffered, they they were patient, they were persisting, um, and holding to the truth. On the day of judgment, they will enjoy um, these uh, blessings and uh, bliss from Allah Azza wa Jal. In the table below, write the names uh, and attributes of Allah Azza wa Jal that are mentioned in the passage above with their meanings. We already talked about that. We talked about um, Al-Aziz, the, the might, Al-Majid, uh, the uh, 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 great or ma- uh, in majesty, Azza wa Jal. We talked about uh, uh, Al-Hamid, the praiseworthy. We talked about Dhul Arsh, the uh, owner of the, of the Arsh, over which he rose, subhanahu wa ta'ala. You know, we, we talked about uh, many of these things. All right. Now, coming to the uh, last part of these ayahs where Allah Azza wa Jal, of the surah, where Allah Azza wa Jal says, هَلْ أَتَاكَ حَدِيثُ الْجُرُودِ فِرْعَوْنَ وَثَمُودِ بَلِ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا فِي تَكْذِيبِ وَاللَّهُ مِنْ وَرَائِهِمْ مُحِيطِ بَلْ هُوَ قُرْآنٌ مَجِيدٌ فِي لَوْحٍ مَحْفُوظٍ the meaning of these verses uh, is this. Has there reached you the story of the soldiers, those of Pharaoh and Thamud? But they who disbelieve are in persistent denial while Allah encompasses them from behind. But this is a glorious Quran inscribed in a preserved tablet. So these are the ayahs 17 to 22 of Surah Al-Buruj. And coming to the commentary, has there reached you the story of the soldiers? Here Allah Azza wa Jal says to his Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, uh, has there come to you, O Muhammad, the news of the troops um, who gathered to fight against Allah and his messenger with plots to intend to do harm? Has the news reached you of what Allah sent upon them of punishment? It's, it's like saying that even if these people uh, of the uh, disbelievers at your own time, O Muhammad, and even at any time uh, where there are believers, if the uh, enemies of Islam have marched and, and, and uh, deployed soldiers to, to, to go against Allah and the believers, look, uh, Allah will punish them, uh, just like He did to Pharaoh and uh, and Thamud, uh, the earlier two tribes uh, and nations before the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wa And uh, uh, first, they uh, uh, it's it's an affirmation 
of what Allah says, Azza wa Jalla, like in verse uh, 12, indeed, the vengeance of your Lord is severe. In In other words, um, he punishes the wrongdoers. He seizes them with the seizure of the exalted, the might, and the perfect and mighty in ability, subhanahu wa ta'ala. أخذهم أخذ أخذ عزيز مقتدر. So he was um, in power, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Those of Pharaoh and Thamud. This refers to two different stories. As for the story of Pharaoh, we know that uh, Pharaoh, Allah destroyed him and his troops and saved the children of Israel. As for the story of Thamud, Allah destroyed them uh, to the last man. Everyone. Everyone. عَنْ بَكْرَةِ أَبِيهِمْ And saved only Salih and few uh, 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 who were with them. نَجَّ اللَّهُ نَبِيَّهُ صَالِحِ عليه الصلاة والسلام والقل المؤمن معه. But the uh, they they who disbelieve are in persistent denial. بل الذين كفروا يكذبون. That is, those polytheists will continue to persist in their denial and rejection uh, uh, of you and what you have brought, and they will not learn anything from those disbelievers who came before them. So. Uh, again, this is a warning to them that if they persist, they will get the same result um, uh, for what the earlier nations did. While Allah encompasses them from behind. وَاللَّهُ مِنْ وَرَائِهِمْ مُحِيطٌ So he knows them well and none of them, none, none of their deeds is hidden, are hidden from him subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَاللَّهُ مِنْ وَرَائِهِمْ مُحِيطٌ he, he has a vast knowledge, a knowledge and power uh, uh, to, to uh, punish them, encompassing a, a thing meaning to surround it from all sides. But this is the glorious Qur'an. It is, بَلْ هُوَ قُرْآنٌ مَجِيدٌ This is a glorious Qur'an. It's an affirmation that the Qur'an uh, uh, is, is, is a glorious book and what it brings is, is true story and... and uh, uh, the Qur'an, the rejection of their beliefs and, and, and proving them to be wrong in their rejection of the Qur'an. No, Qur'an is true and, and glorious and it's an affirmation of the truth. Normally the ayahs would begin, the surahs would begin with an affirmation of the truth, uh, truthness of the, uh, of the glorious Qur'an or uh, at the end of the surah, just like in the surah, بَلْ هُوَ قُرْآنٌ مَجِيدٌ فِي لَوْحٍ Mahfuz, it's, it's a preserved book, uh, a preserved uh, uh, book and a glorious majid. It does not mean that the uh, description of the, is, is limited to the glorious Qur'an, but rather anyone who carries the Qur'an, does, does righteous deeds, will have this honor, will, will have the majd or the uh, 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 glory and uh, the uh, high status and honor in this life as well as in the hereafter, inscribed in a preserved tablet, meaning that it is protected from distortion, from alteration, from any change, uh, and protected against uh, the, the devil's tampering with it. So Quran is preserved, is preserved until the day of judgment. What is meant is the preserved tablet, Allah al-Mahfuz, in which Allah has kept uh, all things. It is the Mother of the book, of course, it's Ummul Kitab. Ummul Kitab is a Lawh al Mahfuz in which Allah Azza wa Jal says, Allah eliminates what He wills or confirms, Yamhu Allahu ma yasha'u wa yuthbitu, and with Him is the mother of the book. Wa indahu Ummul Kitab. This is in Surah Ar Ra'd. So that shows how great the Quran is and what true. It is in what it is tell and all the promises and all the warnings are true in the glorious as is in the glorious Quran. What we learn from these verses first is questions in the Quran are not asked for the purpose of, uh, of getting information. No, when it says, Hal uh, ataka awala ya'lamun, all these questions that are being uh, asked in the glorious Quran are not meant to get information but rather for other purposes because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, doesn't need information from people. What he, what he expresses here is like affirmation, rebuke, amusement, alarming, urging, 
scorning, in informing and stating that something is unlikely. Uh, uh, this is a brilliant style that is unique to the glorious Quran. Secondly, uh, in some books of the Quran, uh, the Quranic exegesis uh, or tafsir, it says that the preserved tablet is in the forehead of Israfil or it, is, uh, uh, it was created from a green emerald and so on. All of this is uh, not proven and is not uh, uh, authentic. Rather, this is a matter of the unseen um, uh, because we, we don't know Allah the, the, uh, al the shape or the size and so on uh, concerning what is uh, nothing can be accepted except something that is proven from the glorious Quran and the true and authentic Sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ. Now, activities for this, um, for the uh, part of the ayahs uh, is, has there reached you the story of the soldiers, those of Pharaoh and Thamud? This, is, this river, uh, verse refers to, um, in brief, to the uh, stories of Pharaoh and Thamud. Give a summary of these stories based on what is mentioned in the Quran. Well, you can find them throughout the glorious Quran. You find what exactly happened to Pharaoh and, and, with, and the discussion with Musa alayhi salatu wasalam and how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brought up uh, Musa in the house of Pharaoh and how he uh, discussed with him and the uh, you know, uh, dealings with him uh, and then finally, uh, what happened and how he uh, followed him into uh, the river and, and how Allah destroyed Pharaoh and his own soldiers and saved Pharaoh and has saved Musa and his, and his people. Uh, and they passed to the, uh, uh, the Sinai and so on. And they went to the Holy Land afterwards. Well, it's a, it's a long Long story, and you can talk about the same thing with Saleh alayhi salatu wasalam and his story with uh, his people of Thamud. You'll find how they killed the, the, the she camel and so on. Explain the connection between the verse has there reached you the story of Pharaoh and indeed the vengeance of your Lord is severe. Well, obviously, yes, uh, what happened to them and then the punishment that they, they received. Finally, question appear frequently in the Quran. Give some examples of that, explaining what meaning each question is highlighting. Well, you can explain that. We already talked about that, about uh, uh, amusement uh, and uh, rebuke and, and so on and so forth. You can find that and find even examples of that in the glorious Quran. I come to the end of today's episode. Seeing you, inshallah, in the coming episode with Allah's will. May Allah make it easy for all of you. And for me as well. Until then, I leave you with Allah's care and protection. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. زاد أكاديمية ينبوعها صاف صاف ليروي غلة الظمآن هذا كتاب الله روح قلوبنا خير الدروس تعلم القرآن بشرى لنا زاد أكاديمية للعلم كالأزهار في البستان